大家好，我是 All Branch Style。So a lot of you guys who are trying to get healthy, you want to get healthy, but it's so hard to actually start a routine and stick with it. After all, getting into an exercise habit is not exactly a very natural thing to do for us humans. We've all failed at starting a new routine and even sticking with it. Even those Super awesome-looking KOLs, fitness KOLs, who have great bodies, wearing the best exercise gear. They have also failed miserably. They just don't show it to you. I'm here to share you a couple tips on how to get you started from scratch, and a simple routine that can help you get started. First, I want you guys to understand this concept. When you're starting a new habit, there's this pu constant push and pull of friction and lubricant. When you're trying to start a new habit, there's friction. Basically, obstacles and challenges that slows you down or that derails you from sticking to the habit, and then there are lubricants, things that help you to catch on to that habit, makes it easier for you to repeat that process. First thing I want you guys to understand is this idea of mental obstacles, these frictions.、Um, the first one being performance anxiety or or fitness anxiety, as you might think of. And I'll do a later video on fitness anxiety, as I think it actually is a more of a systemic issue that we're now、uh, facing in society. But for now, just consider performance in the gym as one thing, and that you shouldn't be too worried about your performance, especially at the beginning. Don't worry how hard you're training, or how good the workout is, or how good you are. All of that will be friction. Another friction is comparing yourself and your abilities with other people, especially on social media. As they are always showing you their best selves, and you being a, a beginner, you will always feel inferior to them, and that's going to make you want to stop and not even start, or it makes it makes you want to completely just give up, or comparing yourself with yourself. Maybe you have an idea of what you should be doing. Maybe you were really fit when you were younger, which is not fair because we're all getting older. But this idea of compare comparing yourself. With others and yourself is really detrimental, and it's a really big friction, and you really shouldn't be doing that. The point is, guys, it's this idea of fear of failure. You don't want to fail to yourself, and you don't want to fail compared to others. So it's this idea of trying hard but still not meeting that standard、it、makes you feel bad. Any of these bad feelings, they're all mental obstacles. These are all friction. So it's best not to think about them. Instead, we want to focus on something else, and that something else is about habits. Instead of focus on performance, focus on the system, or focus on maintaining the habit. Okay, so what does focusing on the habit mean? Well, here's a lubricant for you guys, a tip, and that is when you're starting a new habit, focus on the minimum viable effort. Okay, that basically means the easiest, easiest, smallest step that you need to make to start you on this journey of a new habit. That's basically one percent better. Just focus on a one percent improvement in your day. And then just repeat that one percent. Repeat that one percent. What actually happens over a six-month period or over a long period of time is that that one percent starts to compound on top of each other, and it starts to grow and grow and grow. But you need to give it some time before it can start to grow. So conversely, if you don't do that one percent better, if you do nothing, then you're actually going to get worse and worse and worse because we're all aging, and time is not on your side if you do nothing. But if you do something just a little bit, then time is on your side, due to the compounding effect, which is a great benefit as long as you just keep trying. One percent better, one percent better. The next point is the idea of momentum. Momentum is a double-edged sword. It's a lubricant and it's friction. Okay, if you have a good habit and it's helping you and you're doing it regularly, then momentum will actually help you a lot. It makes it easier for you to do the next workout because you're already on a roll. So that's a lubricant. The same time is if you stopped your momentum. Let's say you went on a vacation. Well, now you've had many days of no exercise, and now this is really hard to start up again. You have to break inertia, and so that is momentum working against you. Friction. So this is, leads us to the, the concept of this quote: "Don't break the chain. If it's within your control, do the best you can to maintain the chain. Okay, keep going, chain it, keep going." Because once it breaks, it's really hard to get back on it. So knowing this this concept allows you to stay focused to just do it. Again, don't focus on the performance; just get it done. The next time you come back, you'll actually feel better, and then you might actually be able to make a much bigger gain. But whatever happens, try your best not to break the chain. There's a concept that you can consider, is which is if you skip it one time, or you just feel really bad and you feel、um, you don't want to do it. Okay, one time. 
no big deal. But if you do it twice, then it becomes a new habit because that means your chain is now broken and now you have to spend even more energy to kickstart that momentum again. The next point is another lubricant and it's this idea of progress. Progress is the greatest motivator that you can have. If you make any progress and you can see the progress, that will really drive you to your next workout. The problem with progress is that it's very slow and it's very delayed when it comes to exercise. And so during this period of no progress, this is where you really need to stay committed and keep plugging away 1% better, just 1% better, because eventually this exponential curve, at some point you're gonna see a jump and that's going to kickstart the progress motivator and it's gonna kickstart the whole momentum train. So you really wanna focus on getting through the beginning. So this delayed gratification is the key guys. Remember, it's going to pay off, but much, much later. You have to have the patience. This delayed gratification is the opposite of instant gratification, which is what we're constantly getting now with technology. We're constantly being uh, eating foods that are not good for you because it makes you feel good, like a lot of candies, chocolates, and chips. Or we watch a lot of short videos that give us an instant dopamine hit where you just feel good watching videos. But really, you know what you need to do is long term and you just got to have to wait it out. You have to trust the system. Okay, guys, so I'm going to give you a routine that you can start right now. It's so simple that there's no excuse that you can't do it. Just do push-ups. Don't think about any other exercise except push-ups and just do it for one minute every day. As many as you can for one minute. The trick is though, you have to record it in whatever media that you prefer. Either in a diary, you write it down, or in your smartphone, or just even write it on the wall. Point is you want to write down the date and the number of push-ups you've done. Date, push-ups, date, push-ups. And you want to do that as consistently as you can. It's just one minute. Anybody can afford one minute per day to start this habit. You can do the push-ups either on your knees or on your toes. And if the knee push-ups are still too hard, you can just do a plank. Just hold yourself in that position. And when you build up the strength, you can eventually do a half push-up and then a full push-up. The point is to try your best to keep making progress, no matter where your starting point is. After you've done it for one full month, give yourself a pat on the back. You've successfully completed or started an exercise habit. And you can always default back to this routine if you ever fall off the wagon. This is good for your confidence building. It's created a new habit for you. And now you can start to form more habits around that as a foundation. So in closing, guys, I just want to recap that don't listen to those fitness KOLs who give you all this advice and expect you to get on it right away. They are really fit. Yes, they look amazing, but they also had struggles when they started out. They also have failed and they probably still struggle now and then. The point is guys that we're all on our own fitness journey and this is not a race. We all have our starting points and they might have started a bit earlier than you, but it doesn't matter because in the end, it's all about how you feel about your fitness journey. So again, don't worry about your performance. Just focus on the habit and do the best you can. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or comments below and I'll see you next time.